Hey guys, this is Erica, etc. Reminding you to comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos. Enjoy the show. Toodles! This is Erica, etc. And today's topic is leaving the nest. Okay, I just left the nest no longer than nothing. Wait, hold on, y'all. Four months ago, I left the nest. And I'm a living testament of what I'm telling y'all. So y'all can't be like, oh, how could she say something? And she don't know what she's talking about. No, yes, baby. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I left the nest because I got tired of being sheltered and told what to do. I'm the only child. I'm the only cousin. I don't have any first cousins. I only have first cousins on my mother's side. And they they don't live around me. Okay? So you know how that is. Only children, you know how that is. You're sheltered. But the thing about it is, it's two different things for me. Sheltered and spoiled. That is way two different things, guys. Don't think that's the same thing. Shelter is when you can't really do anything and you get everything to you. And you know, they just want to keep an eye out on you. And spoil is you do whatever you want and you get whatever you want. Honey, I work for everything I got. That's about to get to my subject. I got tired of being sheltered. I'm in grad school now and I don't live too far from campus. And my my grandparents thought it'd be a good idea if I stayed home. But this is the thing. I look on Facebook so much and I see so many of my friends complaining about their parents getting on their nerves or their grandparents telling them what to do and they're grown and you're a grown ass woman. No, you're not a grown ass woman if you're staying in your people's house. I'm sorry, you can comment or whatever. Whatever you feel. Feel free, because I will comment to you back. But you are not grown to me unless every bill that you are paying is in your name, or you and your husband's name, or a sugar daddy in some cases. Hey, but you are not grown until all those bills are in your name. Because think about it, if you have your parents or your grandparents paying your bills still, they can tell you when to eat, when to sleep, when to use the bathroom, when to come in, when to come out, when to say hey, and when to say goodbye, okay? Because honey, it happened to me. Yeah, you may think you're grown, but you're not grown because they're still paying a bill. If it was for them, you wouldn't be without a phone or car or whatnot. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. I thank God every day for my parents and everything that they provided for me. But the one that helped me branch out on my own was my mom. Yes, my mom, Evelyn Rogers. Yes, I'm putting your name out there. She helped me get everything I have today. I have my own apartment. She helped me get my first car. She got me that car for my graduation present. But I paid insurance. I paid all my bills. When I wasn't paying my bills, people could tell me what to do. If they didn't like this, it wasn't gonna happen. And I was grown. But how could I complain? And my grandmother said it best. When other people are paying your bills, you have to listen to everything they say. So things you may not agree on, you still gonna have to listen because they're paying your bills. So would you rather? You rather this having without or you listen to them, okay? So I decided, I was like, you know what? I saved my money. I saved my money and everything, and I got out. You know, I had people like, oh, you're not gonna do that, it'll make no sense. Yes, it does make sense. Cause you can't have a peace of mind until you have a little bit of your own. Now, anybody can get on their own. Anybody can get out on their own. That's not a problem. But the problem is, is keeping it up. How long can you get out and stay out and leave the nest for good. I told my grandparents the day I left, I was never coming back. And I meant that. You have to work hard and keep up and learn how to save. I have friends as well 
that left the nest and end up coming back. When you come back to the nest to me, that's like a tail between your legs. That is disappointment and that is defeat. I'm sorry I call a spade a spade. I've never been this serious in my life. But when you leave the house, leave the house for good. I'm telling you guys, because when you come back, it's like they got this one up on you. And you know they gonna tell you, oh, I'm glad you're back and you're always welcome. That's a lie, because once you're gone, they're going to get used to not seeing you there and doing whatever they do best. And they're going to be happy you're gone. And they're going to have fun, you know, doing whatever they do. But if you come back, it's like, oh, goodness, you know, we have to adjust to how he or she was before she came, you know. The key is keeping up you being, leaving the nest. It's, it's, it's maintenance. You got to learn how to budget. You gotta learn how to do this and that. If you know your rent's too high, don't get it. Don't start off high first and think everything's gonna be good because the job market is so uncertain. The job market is so uncertain. So start off with a reasonable rent that you can pay. Don't get something outlandish. Start from the bottom just to make it to the bottom. Don't start off lavish. Get get everything. I'm gonna tell you, half my furniture was hand me down and wall in Walmart. I wasn't going doing all this and that. And I'm an artist, so I made a lot of my stuff and I painted a lot of my stuff. I got out there by mask and my kitty cats were sitting next to me and I spray painted a lot of this stuff. You have to learn how to improvise. And it's gonna be many a night when you leave them there. You'll be eating noodles and rice and whatever. But it's better than eating well and you got your parents down your throat. It's better. See, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'll let y'all into my life. I This is my first time doing taxes. And before, you know, my people were doing my taxes. And they had whatever they can do, you know, whatever they wanted. Okay. Once I got on my own, those taxes were mine. Once I got a job or whatever, those taxes were mine. It feels so good to have a little bit of your own than a lot of someone else's. Just having that little bit of your own makes so much of a difference when it comes down to, I can do whatever I want in my house. You don't like something? Get the hell out of my house. You can tell somebody that. You can't tell nobody that if you're living with somebody. And then constantly, you have to think about it like this. Because I remember even dealing with it. And, you know, I come here home from the door or whatever like that when I was an undergrad. You have to deal with new rules. You have to adapt. You may have been fancy free when you were living by yourself. When you go back home, honey, that's going to stop. You're not going to be loose and fancy free in someone else's house. You have to abide by their rules. And I hate to say that's like a, like a child. I don't care if you're 40. You have to abide by their rules. And that's something I'm not about to do. I'm a rebellion. So that's nothing I'm about to do. So, you know, why give up that freedom? And you're going right back to being a child. You're reversing back to being a child. But I'm like this. If you're going to leave the nest, leave the nest when you are prepared to leave the nest. So it's three things you have to do. Three things you have to do. The first thing is plan. Plan and save and brainstorm. When I, before I moved, I had all kinds of uh, notebook. I had this big notebook. And I had wrote down everything that I was going to buy. I priced everything on the internet. I priced everything I had to buy. I priced my uh, rent. I priced my utilities. I priced everything and looked and see if everything was in my budget. I had a lot of cuts, okay? You have to learn how to plan. The second thing you have to do is maintain. Pay your bills, y'all. Pay your bills, do what you have to do. If you don't have a job, go out there and get one. Even if it's something like a department store, do it until you can find something better for you college graduates out there. Cause I didn't think I was too much working at a department store or something. Go out there and maintain and find more ways to do money. Hey, you know how to do hair, you know how to draw, you know how to do this, okay. Let's put that to use to make some money. Let's get some income working in here. Maintain. And number three, and I can't stress number three, 
anymore is be proud. Be proud and don't let anybody get to you once you become out the nest because you're going to hear so much. So many people are going to say, oh, she's doing this and she's doing that. But what doesn't matter? You're out the house. So be proud that you're out the house and pat yourself on the back. Because once you get out the house, maintain and be proud. Honey, you are independent. And nobody can tell you any different. And that is a feeling that I want forever. I'm never going back home. I love my family, but I'm never going back home. I'm sorry. So marinate on that. <laughs> and next topic should be soon. So I hope you enjoyed this show. I hope um, nobody take offense if you live with your parents. I hope you don't take offense because, wait, I'm going to get to that. It's some cases where the parents are sick. Now, if the parents are sick, I can understand you staying home. Yes, I can. That's the only exception. If the parents are sick or invalid, I can see you staying home. But if your parents are able-bodied and moving about, no, I don't see that. I don't see that at all. So if you feel offended, I'm sorry. This is my opinion. You have to respect my opinion. But just take notice of what I'm saying because I had a long road. In my short life, I've had a long road getting to be independent. If y'all only knew my story. Well, my friends that's watching this, y'all know my story. But it was a long, hard road. And I'm here to testify through the grace of God that I got everything being independent by doing those three things I told y'all. Plan, maintain, and be found. Until next time, toodles.